Uh, look what just arrived. It's my bed jet. This is a device that climate controls your bed. Does it really work? Let's find out in today's review. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to crack these instructions open. Wow, it's like a magazine. I can have fun with this thing by itself. Okay, we're supposed to put the air nozzle on here and then connect this to the fabric part, not the plastic part. There we go, it's resting on the mattress. Now it's time to move this bad boy underneath the bed. I don't want to bail his bones. Fortunately, I got plenty of room down here. So far, it's looking pretty easy. Now, at this point, you either put your sheet on or you put the cloud comfort sheet on, which I'm going to use that next. They have a dual zone and they have a single zone. I'm going with the single zone because I'm, I'm a single king in my own castle here. Just for the record, I'm going to try it out and then I'm going to wash the sheets. Here we go. Let me turn this thing on now. It's supposed to beep. There we go. So now I gotta grab the remote and try it out. All right, I finally got the sheets completely washed and I've got the bed jet set up. These are the sheets you can get for, they're called the Air Comforter Cloud Sheet. This is the single zone, goes right in the center and you're supposed to put your blankets and sheets on top of that to keep the air on against your body. So I'm gonna put some blankets on top of here and I'm gonna jump in and see how it feels. And finally, we gotta put the remote battery in. It comes with an A23 alkaline battery, which is kind of a weird size. I'm a little surprised they had picked a strange size like that, but maybe it doesn't matter. I bought a new comfort, for, look how wrinkly this thing is. I gotta wash this, but I'll check the bed jet out before I wash this. Look how wrinkly, very wrinkly. But next up, under the covers and test this thing out. Ah, here we go. Once again, I find myself filming myself in bed. It's kind of weird, but I've got my brand new wrinkled comforter, which is great. I've got my bed jet set up and I've got the remote control in my hand. So this is my first use. I've not used it under the covers yet. So here we go. I'm gonna hit the cool button because it's kind of warm in here. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh, I feel it. I feel it. I am feeling air on my legs, and I do feel it. I feel a slight breeze on my legs. I'm really looking forward to this in the summertime when it's blazing hot. Even though I have my AC running, my house doesn't get that cold, so uh, this will be worth checking out. But right now, I feel this nice breeze um, on my lower part of my body, so I think it's gonna work. Now, you're supposed to sleep with the uh, comforter or blankets on top of there to kind of keep it against you, but I wanna show you what happens when you don't have a blanket on there, how the bed jet actually works. And here it goes. That's how the single zone works. Again, you're supposed to put a blanket on top to hold it against you, but that's exactly how the process works. Now, BedJet gives you this remote here, which is certainly functional. The features are that we have the power decrease, the power increase, turbo heat, pressing it once is on, second time is off, regular heat, cool, this uh, mutes the beep, and this is the auto shut off advance. Now that's certainly fine, but they give you an app, which is even better, because you have all these other features in here. You can actually control it, just like the remote, and there's extra settings as well. So let me hit the button and show you what happens. Oh, there it goes. It's filling up. Oh. Now, I don't know if you can hear it, but the fan is running. It's very quiet. And this, in the instructions, there's a chart here. It's pretty important. It shows that you'll notice that cool, the default shutoff time is 10 hours, but the others are all short. You can increase the heat up to 12 hours when you use the app. The first time I used the heat, I put it on and it turned off for 20 minutes and I had to find this in the instructions. The cool default is to 10 hours and you go up to 12. Can you see this? My bed, the comforter is raised off of the bed. Now let me turn it off.
and it's sinking back down. You notice the app also tells you how much time is left. Now what the bed jet is, is a climate control for your bed. It blows cool or warm air. Now the cool air is not air conditioned, it's not, there's no freon, it's just pulling the coldest air from your room, which is at the floor level, and pushing it into the bed. Now if, if my air goes out and it's 115, it's not going to make it very cool, it's just going to blow hot air in there. But look at this, how strong it is. It's actually blowing my bed up like a balloon. I feel like it's one of those jump houses or something. Anyway, the heat, there is a heat element. It doesn't have that smell like a lot of the hair dryers do. And it does provide uh, warm air as well. So you get basically room temperature air or hot air. You don't get cold air. Now, I'm not as fond of these sheets as the purple sheets that I use. So what I'm going to do next is try my purple sheets with this. Now, the purple sheets obviously aren't uh, dual layer sheets like the ones they have here. But I want to see how well it works because I do like my purple sheets more than these. Uh, this. Obviously, I don't have enough. I think you're supposed to have blankets and a comforter. I just have a comforter. I, I got rid of that wrinkly comforter I was using before, but you can see the fan is certainly working well because it's actually blowing this up like a balloon. But when you're underneath there and you can feel that cooler air kind of circulating, it actually is pretty good. And there it goes, deflating. All right, now I've got the purple sheet on there, which is a regular sheet. And I want to see how it compares to when I'm using the cloud sheet from before versus a regular sheet now. Let's try it. Well, that's pretty interesting, huh? I'm going to put a blanket on top of here and jump in the bed and see how it feels. Uh, here we go again. Uh, I spent way too much time in this bed for my channel. I don't know how I keep it up here. But I am laying in bed, I've got a comforter, a blanket, my purple sheet, and the bed jet is blowing air underneath there. Now when I first got in the bed, I couldn't really feel it. But now that I've situated myself, I've gotten settled in, I do feel this kind of cool breeze coming up from the bottom. It actually feels pretty good. This summer, this is definitely going to be something that I'm going to be going to. I do like their sheets. I like the fact that it's a dual layer, so the air blows in between there. But I've really gotten used to these purple sheets, and they're, and they're my favorite sheets. So I'm happy that I can still use it without using their sheets. If you're attached to your sheets, then uh, you don't have to give them up. You can still use the bed jet with your existing sheets. If you're not, if you're not attached to your sheets, the, the cloud sheets are definitely worth trying out because they're designed to work best with the bed jet. But I actually kind of like the way this goes. I'm going to sleep on this tonight with my old purple sheets, and then tomorrow night I'm going to do the dual zone and try those out and wrap this up. <laughs> the bed jet gets its air from the coolest part of the room, which is going to be on the floor. Now, if you don't have room underneath your bed, they do have a mount that can be used to set it on its side, which I'll show you how it looks in this shot right here. This isn't really a good place to film, is it? Okay. When I first used the bed jet the first night and I just used the remote, I thought to myself, it's too bad that they just have cool or warm. They don't have something in between. Once I got the app, I realized they do have something in between and I'll show you how that works next. You'll notice on the app, you can actually say heat set. And what that does is it gives you this chart right here and you can actually set the temperature you want. And this also changes what your auto max shutoff time will be. And they also have some presets. They have gentle warmth, desert breeze, which is perfect here in Las Vegas. And even they even have a night sweat dry feature. So if you have night sweats, it'll kind of keep your bed dry. Now, one thing I want to mention about the turbo heat, this is kind of like, some people like to put on an electric blanket before they use the bed to get it warm. That's kind of what this feature is. It blows really hot air for a few minutes, warms the bed up and then shuts off. All right, I now have the dual sheets on. These are the cloud sheets that you can get specifically for the bed jet, which basically means you can control half of the sheets. You could technically get a second bed jet. I think it has to be on a different circuit though because it draws too much power, but you can get a second bed jet and control them separately, or you can just get one bed jet and just control half the bed. So let's see what happens if you have no comforter or blankets, what it looks like. All right, there you go. It looks like they have a kind of a neutral zone right here. This looks like it's gonna be a neutral zone. So if you had two bed jets, this would be inflated, this would be inflated, and I don't think this would be. I think that's, that is no man's land right there. What I'm gonna do now is try the heat setting. And I'm gonna crank it all the way up.
All right, so we got all the way cranked, 104 degrees. And I'm going to let that run for a second and get out my trusty laser thermometer and see how it works. All right, it's been about, what, 15 seconds? Let me try it. All right, the one side of the bed is 77. Whoa. It's literally only been 15 or 20 seconds since I turned this on. How about up higher? 78, 84, 85. And still rising too. Now I'm gonna try turbo and see what happens with that. Well, the fan is much louder on turbo, much louder. I'm gonna give it a few seconds and see how, how it works. All right, it's been about 30 seconds or so. This side of the bed is still nice and comfy at 77. How about over here? 97 degrees and rising. Even up there, it's 95, 94. How about right at the entrance? 104 degrees, extra toasty and kind of normal. So the turbo is good for getting your bed warmed up at night when you want to get in there. When you hop in bed, it's going to be nice and toasty. And over here, completely unaffected by it. Cool idea, I like it. I'm on the bed jet side and it is quite warm. It's interesting how it's actually, the covers are floating above me. I'm gonna try that side of the bed and see if it's any different. Now over here, it feels completely normal. It doesn't feel like there's any kind of climate control and there's not. So you have climate control over there and not over here. All right, that's all I've got guys. To recap the bed jet, it's a climate control for the bed. It uses room temperature air or heated air and you have special sheets that you can buy for it that are kind of a dual layer that the air will go in between or you can use your own sheets. Now the ones you can buy for the bed jet, they have one for a single, which is the entire bed, or just half the bed. They can technically be used with one or two bed jets. Be sure to check the link below for how you can get the bed jet or the cloud sheets. Whenever I review a product, I always look for pros and cons. Now there aren't that many cons associated with this. The one con I had early on was that you couldn't choose a temperature in between hot and cool. Actually you can with the app. Uh, the installation was pretty easy. The manual is actually pretty good. So there isn't much I have to, bad to say about it. But the one factor that will prevent most people from getting this is the cost. The Bedjet version 2 is anywhere from 340 to 500 from what I've seen. The cloud sheets are 90 to 100. If cost is not a factor for you, it's certainly something you might want to consider. It is the ultimate luxury in sleeping accessories. Have you used the Bedjet or something like it. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Please follow my social profiles for progress pictures, videos as I go, and please subscribe for more product reviews from me, James White, with Freaking Reviews. And by the way, I wasn't gonna have Bailey in this video, but because someone complained and said that I put Bailey in too many of my videos, I'm gonna put it in right now. Come on, Bailey. Ha! <laughs> okay, Bailey. All right, all right, all right, Bailey. Okay, 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 no!